Hi, Chris Kirk again here at Wild Blue, and thanks so much for watching. This segment is dedicated to the aircraft seller, and I have four questions that every aircraft seller should ask a prospective buyer before continuing on. And the first one is probably the most uh, difficult for an individual seller, at least, to ask, and that simply is, how do you plan to pay for that uh, the airplane? You know, it's a, it's a very legitimate question. You want to know that the seller, or the buyer rather, is going to be a legitimate buyer. They have the capability to pay for the airplane before they lead you down a road of a lot of questions and a lot of, a lot of research that they're going to ask you to do. You want to make sure that they are a legitimate buyer and that they can pull the trigger. And number two, do you plan to do a pre-buy? And if so, where? So most, uh, most buyers are going to do a pre-purchase inspection. We recommend it always, regardless of the airplane. But where are they going to do it? So find out a little bit about what the extent is going to be. Find out a little bit of information about the shop. And you, of course, have to agree to that shop. Number three is, are there any contingencies involved? So in other words, do I have to sell another airplane? Do I have to wait for an investment to come through? Uh, do I need to uh, wait for my insurance check on, on the previous airplane to come through? Find out if this is going to be a clean transaction or if there are a lot of contingencies that are going to be involved. And then number four is, is are you going to be willing to sign a purchase agreement? Now that sounds kind of strange, but a lot of people still want to, to have a handshake agreement with you. And you know that's very noble, and uh, it's you know, it's 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 a great thought. In today's world, however, especially in aircraft transactions where the buyer and seller may be separated by thousands of miles, maybe even from one country to the next, it's really imperative that you have a good purchase agreement that basically just creates nice fences, keeps you keeps everybody neighborly and lets everybody know exactly how the transaction is going to transpire. If they're not willing to do that, they're probably not a legitimate buyer. If you have any questions on how the process works, at least in terms of how we work with buyers and sellers, give us a call anytime. Again, Chris Kirk at Wild Blue, 888-773-4249, or shoot me an email, chris at flywildblue.com.